In today's video, we're looking at a Sony accessory for the Sony FDR AX53 Handycam. This is a shooting grip with mini tripod, and while it may look like a gimbal system, it's not. It's strictly a grip, as the Handycam has a built-in gimbal system. What this does offer is one-hand operation of start, stop, zoom in, zoom out, and photo taking. In addition, it doubles as a tripod. Let's see what comes in the box. Now note that this unit can be used with other Sony cameras as long as they have a multi-pin connector. Inside the box we have a manual. We have the actual grip and connecting cable. It's a multi-pin so there's no batteries requ required. It is just driven by the camera itself. And there are two legs that come out and thus you have a mini grip. Included in another bag is a lanyard that you can tie so you can use this as a wrist grip for the camera and a pouch to put everything into. The threaded mount can be adjusted forward and backwards to accommodate your particular camera. We have our stop stop button. We have a button for zooming in, pulling out, and then for taking photos. And also the grip can actually change positions. If you push this button, you can tilt the head forward or backwards. Of course, if you tilt it back too far back, there's no way to get access to the controls. So you're, you're a bit limited in that respect. Before we can mount our camera to the tripod, we have to note where the mounting thread is and if there's a spacer in front or behind that because on this grip, there are mounting pins that can be raised and lowered before the mounting screw and after the mounting screw. So in this case, we just need the one before. And now because our mounting thread is at the front end of the camera, we don't want to mount like this because we're way too far back. We actually want to be forward. So we'll slide this whole unit forward. Now we'll place our camera over the mounting screw, turn the mounting knob until it is secured in place. Then we turn our camera around, open the multi-pin door, grab our cable, make sure that the flat end is facing towards the back of the viewfinder, insert, and now we're powering the grip. With our camera energized, we're ready to use our grip to turn on the camera. So now it's recording, and now I can use the little rocker switch to either go forward in the zoom or come back. And as you see, I can vary that zoom either fast or slow, depending on how much pressure you put on and now I happen to be in the highest resolution, the 4K, so I can't do stills with this. In theory, you would just hit the still button and it would capture, but I get a message saying recording of still images is impossible. I will try dropping down to a lower resolution. With the bitrate dropped so that we can grab stills, we are outside. I press the photo button while recording and I get captured. So hopefully there'll be a still of this. I'm going to zoom in using our grip. And I'm going to hit photo again. What I will do now is hit photo and then pan off this plant here and see if we're able to get that video 
capture while it's capturing the still image. It has now finished and you've seen the results. We also have the capability now of closing up our little tripod and using the grip. Now I find the grip just a little bit short. I wish it was a little bit longer because now you have to work these controls and as you see, part of your hand is really not on the grip. So it actually needed to be maybe another inch to two inches longer, but I can definitely operate the controls. It feels a little top heavy and not so much because of the camera weight, but because there's really nothing that I'm holding on to below this because it's just cut off here. So, but we'll play around and see what kind of uh, images I can get. Well, I'm gonna try going straight up, just using my arm as a pedestal to make the camera go up. And down, panning with it, trying a move around my tripod. Coming over to our secondary camera that we're using for this shoot and coming back into that shot. So it's possible to use this. I just really would love to have that extended out. Uh, the controls don't feel bad at all. They do what they say they're gonna do. I can start the camera and stop the camera easily. And you can also get this kind of sh shot. So it does give you the flexibility of doing things that would be a little bit harder if you were using the grip or if you were on a tripod because, you know, you can actually just shoot stuff upside down and invert. So I like, I like the freedom that the handle gives you I like the fact that it doesn't require external batteries and, you know, when you need to take a rest from shooting or just to put it down for a second or to shoot something low, you have the tripod that's built into the handle. Some of the things I like about this grip are the fact that the mounting thread can be moved forward or back to adjust for your particular camera so you can adjust the weight forward of the grip. The mounting pins can be raised front or back and retracted depending on the needs of your particular camera. Powered is supplied by your camera, so no batteries to worry about. The controls are intuitive, easy to follow, easy to operate. You get variable telephoto zoom, and you can also change the angle by lockout, of course, you can't do this while you're actually shooting, so you'd have to set it up beforehand and then lock it into position, but yet it can. And then finally, I like the fact that it can convert to a tripod to either rest your camera or to get some low level shots. So the one thing that I find really annoying about this whole thing is just the actual grip, it needed to be longer. The fact that it cuts off and my hand is not that big just makes it a little harder to maneuver because there's less here for you to counterbalance the weight of your particular camera. And also the other thing is if you tilt the head back too far, then the controls are a bit difficult, if not impossible, to get into, depending on that angle. But other than that, I like the tripod. I like being able to have this and either use it as a tripod rest or as a grip. And I think I'm just going to work on maybe adding something here. Oh, by the way, 
The lanyard is nice because should you, for some reason, lose your grip, it keeps your very expensive camera from crashing all the way down. Uh, the grip itself has a rubber overlay on the back and just hard plastic on the front, but it does give you a very good grip that even with sweaty palms, you shouldn't lose grip of, of this. So those are also nice features. If you found this video interesting or useful, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, join the subscription team. And as always, thank you ever so much for watching.